almost immediately after I recorded the last video about how non-computational thinkers, that is most people, criticize or rather don't understand uh, what you're doing or think what you're doing is irrational or wrong or just doesn't make any sense and is wasting resources. The other thing they do is complain that you're not making any progress. And when you sort of think about your typical kind of, you know, non-computational progress, like you think about, I don't know, digging a hole or stuffing envelopes and if your job is to stuff a bunch of envelopes, you know, you take an envelope, you stuff it, you put it to the side, uh, your boss can come along and they can see the pile of stuffed envelopes and then they can come along, you know, an hour later and see a bigger pile and they can understand that you've made progress. And this is not the case with any sort of computational thing because what you're doing again, you're measuring in operations, transformations. And this sort of dovetails with uh, what I was saying the other day about how design is the second derivative of just plain doing stuff. And engineering is the first derivative, philosophy is the third kind of thing. But say we, if you were gonna write a novel. Well, writing a novel is not just about typing 80,000 words and it's like I can type 80 words a minute. If a novel was just the problem typing uh, 80,000 words in order, then I could just, you know, have a comfortable sort of three days where I sort of leisurely type out 80,000 words. And that's not how you make a novel. You make a novel by figuring out a whole bunch of stuff and then writing and rewriting and re re rewriting uh, and just the same any kind of software endeavor because of course you know computational thinking involves computation and it's not necessarily involving software but you will probably eventually encounter software and computers if you're doing anything to do with computation but you not necessarily one of the things, and I wish I had the book with me, uh, it's in storage, uh, was a book called Sketching User Interfaces. I think it came out in about 2006 by Bill Buxton. And one of the remarks that he makes is that the output of a computer is very crisp. So whatever goes on the screen is usually very crisp, whatever comes out of a printer or whatever. And in order to convey the sketchiness, hence the title, of your ideas, he says to, mainly, I mean, he says to do it on paper, but he says to, uh, you know, to, to imply it somehow. And the funny thing about that is you actually have to add extra stuff to the output of a computer in order to make it look sketchy in real life. But sketchy in a computer doesn't look sketchy. It looks the opposite of sketchy. It looks more polished. And, and the reason for that is because, again, we're measuring in operations. We're measuring because the, the operations are the things that cost. Like coming up like, oh, we need a condition here and we need another transformation here. And the, the final thing that I would remark on, since the operation is the basic unit, is and since you can also compose transformations on top of each other the sort of the non-computational thinker which again is most people doesn't understand that when you look at a, a a a pile of you know the pile of unstuffed envelopes and you're saying what we're going to do rather than stuff the envelopes is we're going to make a machine that stuffs all the envelopes now you might not need that uh, you might have a manageable number of envelopes that you can stuff by hand. But there are, are reasons why you might want something analogous in another sort of scenario. Like if you have a million envelopes, you might want an envelope stuffing machine. I don't know. An envelope stuffing machine sounds actually kind of hard to make. But 
again, there are things where doing it by hand either has, because every, every envelope you stuff, you have the potential to make a mistake. And sort of every computational task, like the, 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 one of the things that a computer will do is, I mean, up until AI, is guarantee that there are no mistakes. Like it's, you know, mistakes are impossible. Or if there is a mistake, it's a mistake in the operation, in which case the entire thing is messed up rather than just like one here and one there. And so, so what I was going to say is when you have this pile of, of, of whatever the material is that you're going to be operating over and you have this other thing, which is a transformation, that is the one op that's the, that's your work product, right? The transformation gets applied to the pile and then you get a transform pile. And then you can add a second transformation, a third transformation, and so on. You can compose the transformation. So that's another very sort of unusual thing if you don't have a lot of firsthand experience with it. And so communicating progress has been something that I have been very interested in doing because obviously you're in an awkward political position when uh, you've got a pile of un ostensibly untouched stuff and this unfinished transformation operation that uh, that isn't done yet and you will find that uh, you know you'll get accused of not having done anything when in fact you've done quite a bit anyway gonna finish my coffee